So right now we're in the middle of an opioid epidemic. Uh, the president, many of the states, and some of the local municipalities and counties have declared public health emergency related to opioid overdoses and deaths. In 2012, over 280 million prescriptions were filled by pharmacies across this country. The following year, the costs of treating opioid overdoses and recovery exceeded $75 billion. So it's not just the federal government that has incurred expenses related to the opioid em epidemic. States and our local communities have really fought on the front lines of this battle and are now currently seeing opportunity to address this issue through litigation um, against the opioid manufacturers and distributors who allegedly have a role to play in causing the epidemic and the current crisis. In this country alone, over 115 people are dying every day due to opioid and heroin-related overdoses. Government investigations um, in the early 2000s have found that the opioid manufacturers put together marketing strategies to recommend to doctors and to potential opioid users that the drugs could be used for long-term care and for reasons beyond traditional cancer treatment. This marketing strategies allegedly were not based on science that was available at the time. The distributors also have a responsibility uh, to monitor the prescriptions being filled across the country. The Controlled Substances Act of 1970 created a system whereby the distributors operated in between opioid manufacturers and pharmacies dispensing the product. Their job was to keep track of how many opioids were dispersed in order to avoid the exact problem that is happening right now. So additional government investigations against the opioid distributors have found that some of these distributors failed to comply with their duties to report suspicious orders of opioid being prescribed and filled at pharmacies around the country. As recently as mid-2017, the federal government found that an actual opioid manufacturer was responsible for reporting suspicious orders of opioids in addition to those responsibilities of the distributors. So the brunt of the opioid epidemic is really being fought at the local basis. Our communities, our cities, our counties, they're the ones who are dispersing their police, their law enforcement, um, their first responders each and every day. And they're incurring costs related to those treatments, to the, the overdose, to the recovery, to treating children who are put into um, the system as a result of their parents overdosing on opioids. There are currently several hundred lawsuits pending around this country. A multi-district litigation was formed in the beginning of 2018 in Cleveland, Ohio, and the judge who was assigned to that multi-district litigation, Judge Polster, has gone on the record as stating that he wants to address this crisis immediately and see how litigation can be resolved in the near future. There are also lawsuits pending around this country in various states, and state's attorneys general have also begun filing lawsuits against opioid manufacturers and distributors um, on the same basis. This is a significant litigation. It's impacting everyone across this country. And for that reason, the litigation is moving quickly. We anticipate there will be updates often in the coming months um, and hopefully resolutions soon for our communities.